Hey guys, Miguel Roman here from Barcelona, Spain. I know, I know, a long time ago I didn't film anything new, but it's time to film my car district tutorial from a move from Suspiro 2. It's a kind of 200 cut with a cool display, and let's check it out. Okay, so let's start the tutorial for that cut. To starting the cut, you have to start using that grip and you break into a skater position, just right here, and with the uh, ring and the, with the right ring and with the left thumb, you place the cut in that position. And you do kind of civil move using that motion, only to grab that bucket in that hand and you're ready to display these cards. Now you are moving the cards like that and here you position your right uh, index finger and your thumb uh, your right thumb and with the left index you spin this packet in that motion and at the same time you grab that packet with that three fingers and you are ready to do the first display. Spinning that packet, you are now in that position, and now you are going to change the grip. So you have gripped that packet with these two fingers, and helping with that hand, now the center packet and the packet that is going to spin is grabbed with both, uh, with both index fingers. Now you do the spin, that's the good part, you change, the fingers now and you can continue spinning so you reverse the move using exactly the same fingers when you arrive at that position to close the bucket you pass the right hand down your your left hand and that bucket goes on the top you close this bucket and you spin the last bucket in that motion to close the cut okay so there are some points that I, I really like about the cut. First of all, uh, it's, a, it's that kind of cut that uh, contains a display that you can do uh, at the height of your face. So I personally love that kind of displays, like the Jasper's cut or the Roman cut, because I don't know why, but I think that gives uh, some personality to the cut. You, know? you, you can display the cut to that height and it's, it's kind of cool. So that's the first cool, part, cool point the, of the cut. And I'm gonna give you a little tip to do the cut because uh, as you probably uh, have thought you uh, in the packet that is going to spin you can't do the spin if it contains too many cards so there is a point inside the cut that you can control the quantity of the cards of that packet no? the packet that is going to spin is, is this one okay? and when you arrive at that point I can leave some cards here and control the quantity now for example I leave about three and now this packet contains the in, contains enough cards to do the spin easily so now it's easy to do that spin but if that packet has contained about 10 cards or 12 it's it's harder so you can leave some cards there and well, that's more or less uh, some of the details and let's uh, check it out and over the shoulder view.
Okay guys, so that was the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the move. It's one of my favorite moves and if you like the video, thumbs up. Remember to follow me on Twitter, Facebook and if you are not, subscribe to YouTube. So, see you in the next video. Ha <laughs> ha